Nonetheless, he's never been in the uncharted territories. Alexander, you you don't even know what the you're drooling. You don't even know what the damn uncharted territories are. But you know you're I've, you're a canary, yeah. but you're out hunting so, rabbit anyway, so you wouldn't know. Yep. Would Elephant know anything since she lives so close to the uncharted territories? Now you, on the other hand, yeah, you've you've been you know that there is a uh, a marshland that actually is on the the very very northern border where the uh, the Kokari Wilds and the Uncharted Territories meet. You know that there's a, a massive swamp that goes as far as the eye can see. You haven't been past that, but you don't know that you do know that the, the marsh down there is just massive and it stinks. You you remember distinctively that this marsh stinks like high hell. Smells like a thousand dark spawn. It's the bug of an eternal stench. Sorry, labyrinths. <laughs> hey, Bell. I will keep that information to myself so they can smell it for themselves. Oh, that is I'll, so I'll evil. I shall smell it later. Hi, Bell. <clears throat> so, does anybody yes, have sorry. the smelling talent Sorry, yes, perception? <laughs> no, I stayed away from smelling just because I didn't want to roll it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do a smell check. I don't know. Bell. Yes, hey. I noticed that you kind of gave me an eye when I sent that about the tower. I just want you to know that I've been stuck in that tower and under that tower for more days than I want to count. And I'm really excited about finding out something else. Okay. Ooh. Fire! Fire! Fight! Fight! Cat so fight! No offense, no offense to your circle mage abilities. And loyalty. Oh no. I know all about being stuck under a circle tower for a long time. Ooh, the truth comes out! Hadao. You think Ferelden circle towers are bad? Try being in an Orlesian one, especially White Spire. Hmm. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Talk about that. <laughs> nice. Gimlet, you just make look, got uh, smashed. Uh, towers look like uh, holiday camps. All right, so Alexander, as you are out hunting your rabbit, you are able to actually find uh, a couple rabbits humping off in the in the bush, and you you kill them both in the middle of the act. I mean, you're such a dick for doing that, but hey, it's it's dinner. So you're able to launch your spear at them. You actually, you, you kill both of them with one spear. And as you're, as you're starting to walk over to actually get the rabbits, you can actually hear footsteps. And you're, you're to the north of the camp. And you can actually hear footsteps, multiple footsteps. You, you think that there are probably... Uh, from the sounds of it, probably three to four people coming your way, and they're they're talking as as well. And off in the distance, as you pick up your prey, well, your rabbits, you can actually see a campfire, probably 40, 50 yards off to the north of where you're at, and you're probably uh, probably about a hundred yards from the camp now. But you can actually see. Uh, and it's to the point now to where you actually have four people walking right up on you, and they are Avarians. And they ask you what you're doing out in the forest. What you're well, doing I'm out in their forest. And then they get I a look at you, and they see that you're actually a Kunari, and they're really taken back. They're wondering what your kind is doing out here in their lands. I hold up the two rabbits and go, I'm just hunting for some dinner. I can't take him anywhere. <laughs> you can take him anywhere twice. The second time to apologize for the first. <laughs> yep. So what are you doing in our woods? One gentleman I'm... says. And these guys are all really... They're really rusty. I mean, they're rustic, man. They're... It uh, looks like they've... Uh, they've had a few fights, if you know what I mean. I was... Uh, they're heavily was clad. Well-equipped. Me and uh, my group was asked to come to the city nearby here 
and before we got this, we decided to make camp instead of just going straight on to the city. I was just doing a little hunting game for food tonight. So you said you're here with a group. So is this group uh, here to take work from the locals? No. Like the new band lord has sent flyers throughout the entire land of Ferelden seeking for adventurers? This guy's taking work from us. No comment. Where are your other group members? Where are the other group members? Ah. Uh. About 200 yards that way, and I point to the west, <clears throat> but the group technically is to the east. Actually, they're to the south, because you're north of the camp. Oh, yeah. So. <laughs> to the south. I point to the west and go, 200 yards that way. <laughs> well, that... Because it's like, thick area bush around. He just kind of chuckles, and he says, wow, you, you Kanari really are stupid. He goes, uh, he says that, we thought you were warlike. And he goes, the name is Braun, Lervis... Roth and Jarl are here. Well, they introduce themselves, and uh, they would like to actually to speak to everyone in your your group, your combatants, your compadres, your whatever you want to call them. Okay. I kind of I kind of stop. I kind of think to myself for a few minutes. They go not all but like I, when I have to. Exactly. I mean, I just they want out. Seem, like as much of a purpose right now. And I kind of turn and start walking off towards the camp. Alright, they will follow keeping, you. Always keeping a blade close to my blade arm. Kind of being quiet, not... Alright. Alright, you're able to... Do I hear their approach? Y yeah, actually... You can see Alexander, and you can actually hear that there's multiple footsteps as well and you've had several of your you know your branches and twigs set up to where you can actually you've heard several of them coming up coming up towards the camp so you know that there's something going on because they're not they're not trying to seem uh, stealthy Thanks or anything like warning, that elephant. So. elephant goes elephant runs <laughs> I whisper out and let them know they're coming in hide all right Oh. Hide the map. Hide. Uh, I go. So I made some friends. Whispered to hide the map. Sorry, I had uh, I had to laugh at that. I made some friends. Look at I, this. I know she has it. David, approximately how far away are they when we hear them approaching? Well, you've or we spot Elephant vanishing to the shadows. Now uh, you've got several seconds because one of them is carrying a torch, so you can actually see this. As you know, you can actually see the the mul you know the multiple persons coming up to your camp, and you can actually tell that there are variants as well. So, and then I they slip the uh, map back into its scroll case, and just kind of not looking like I'm hiding, rushing to hide anything away. Just kind of like put it away. Yeah, you're able to get it. You don't want to lose that, that nice new map that you found, do you? Um, I have used my eidetic memory to actually memorize every aspect of it anyway. I take images. I take photo images with my mind. Yeah, well, eidetic memory. <laughs> I memorize every memory. single thing. Alright. So as Alexander breaks into the opening of the area, you can actually see four people with him. They're actually... You know, they're well-built guys. They all have weapons. They all have armor. And one guy comes forward and he goes, Hell, we mean no trouble. My name is Braun. And what are you doing in this forest? I wait to see if any other... Well, if uh, they, Alexander, say anything to them first. And if they don't, then I will say something. But I wait to see I'll if they say do something. First. We're just camping here on our way to Rustwood. And what business do you have here? You know, there's been a lot of trouble around here lately, and we can obviously see that you're not the bandits. However, 
a group of your statue maybe a little bit of protection uh, from a more manly perspective and he you know he's kind of looking over all of all of the females and then he asks you how did you get so lucky to be in the companionship of such beautiful women I say I I, I have no idea just, and I can kind of start shaking indeed. my head <laughs> yeah they're the, they're the lucky ones to be uh, partnered with me I'm the pretty one in this relationship and I kind of like flick my hair back <laughs> oh god <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, in all seriousness, I say, uh, make us blessings, travelers. Would you care to uh, take a seat and share the warmth of the fire with us? Absolutely. So they'll come over here, sit around the fire. Strategically only leaving places whereby they actually have their back to Elephant. So, Elephant, I'm guessing you're not in the the actual area of the of the camp. You're on no, the outskirts. I'm on the outskirts watching very closely. Okay. He's up a tree. <laughs> I say, so uh, are you gentlemen camped nearby? Oh, we are. We're probably a couple hundreds, a couple hundred yards off to the north. Uh, we're basically we've been part of the ban, uh, the Kroll ban, that's been here, you know, for quite a few decades, and. We're not taking too kindly to strangers coming into our area because now we are currently not being employed by Ban Kroll anymore. And the new ban has not picked up all of the old ban servants. So it's it's leaving us basically to fend for ourselves. And of course there's been a lot of adventurers coming into the area lately that's been basically taking all of our work. Well, we're that's just passing through. We'll be gone in the morning. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's unfortunate, especially for three uh, gentlemen who look as capable as you three do. And obviously, I'm looking at the fact that they're well armed. And, <clears> yeah, there's there's four of them. Just four of them. Three, and sir. Four, three, four three, sir. Three that look <laughs> capable. Whoa. <laughs> Which one doesn't look capable? <laughs> Ping it. Is it this one right here? No, I mean I only saw. I can only really see three uh, of them. I actually couldn't see the fourth. Ah, uh, gotcha. Just like the the holy hand grenade. Three, sir. Four, sir. Three, sir. <laughs> oh, don't mind me. I guess you just okay, had to so, be there. Uh, so, if you do not mind me asking you, what can you tell me of this uh, this new ban of which you speak? Uh, we actually do not trust the new ban. His name is Trumhall. We do not trust him. As you can see, well, if you're new to the area you, you and you're here for ban Trumhall, you know that there was some trouble with the old man lord. His name is Kroll. And Kroll actually was good for the people for several decades. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, ban Trumhold uh, came to the rescue. We had some bandits, uh, a, a bandit problem here in the in the Rosswold Valley. We had this, you know, we are a logging area. And a lot of our lumber mills were being attacked. A lot of the people were being killed. A lot of the actual lumber was being stolen. And Kroll, with his hands tied and without resources, uh, the people basically betrayed him. And they voted a new band lord in. A band lord that just came in out of nowhere. So we just, we don't trust this new band. And we are trying to do everything we can uh, as. We get paid nothing anymore from the Kroll. The Kroll has basically shut his doors to everyone. The, the, the people have, the people of the Roswold Valley have betrayed him, so he's basically shut his doors to everyone in the community. He's not even helping the new band uh, with anything. Supplies, uh, financial help, nothing. The new band is uh, basically on his own. And this new band, did you say that he was... Uh an old resident of the area, or was he new to the area before becoming banned? He, he's, he's been here just very recently, probably within the last six months, but he had been here times before, but not as a, a permanent uh, fixture, I guess you could say. And above the obvious uh, distrust and uh, 
dislike you have of him because of his uh, his methods and means is there anything more concrete that he has done for you to believe him to be untrustworthy we just don't think that things add up we we don't we just don't trust him why are you telling us this because we are in need of supplies and we would like to fight your strongest warrior to a duel and make a wager and then he looks around and it looks like it looks like the canary would do uh, may I ask the uh, the terms of this uh, combat? I assume it would be this single one-on-one. This is the stupidest one -on -one. thing I've ever heard. <laughs> this is not a duel to the death. This is a first blood duel. Still stupid. Uh, David, out of game... <laughs> well, not yes. out of game, but like out of character, can I do mm -hmm. some sure. kind of check to see if I would know the kind of like terms of like a, a first blood duel. Sure. Oh yeah, give me you can give me a lore check, cultural lore check, yeah. Cultural lore check. Uh thirteen. Yeah, it's I'm looking dis disgusted why this would even be considered. <laughs> well you can actually yeah, you know you know that to the blood is what basically is what it's called, to the blood. And what it is is it's it's where two combatants fight one another hand to hand no weapons, no ranged weapons, nothing. And it's basically uh, the first one that draws blood wins. And usually there's wagers put on uh, put on the table and betting. And that's that's what you know of uh, To the Blood. Um, I say, um, kind of say, could we not maybe think of something, uh, I mean, after all, and I look to myself and say that our lady's present, that uh, would be maybe more uh, less, less physical and barbaric, shall we say? <laughs> well, uh, we just maybe a, how how about uh, you challenge the the Canara gentleman to a, a drinking contest, maybe, or something not as not as physical and that is not going to cause the, the two ladies here present to be in any way affronted by the sight of blood. <laughs> he he kind of chuckles and he says. Do you say drinking contest? And at this, I'm sure yes, that Alexander's sir. eyes light up. <laughs> Alexander's eyes light up and go, Can I get dwarf drunk? <laughs> Why are you even Be suggesting quiet. this? Why don't we just barter? I have another solution to this, but it's a little, it's a little messy. I don't I, like I, I games uh, Who is chance. the gentleman that was doing the talking to myself? Yes, is that he introduced himself as Braun. B R O N. Which one is he? Braun is right here with the axe up. We'll say this is Braun. They're all Avarian. I kind of approach I'll him have and beards. very quietly, kind of whisper to him. Um, he may not look it, but the Canary went toe to toe and faced down a steel golem. I'm just wanting to let you know, so I'm trying to think of something that may help everybody safe face so please go along with my suggestion <laughs> and I go back to where I was <laughs> I, I'm actually going to make a test on this so hold on one second <laughs> I mean I can do a roll against it I mean it's not deception it's true a roll off isn't going to matter so uh, he, he says uh, an iron golem and as you're close you can actually you can smell uh, ale on his breath as well. You can yeah, tell that the you a, can tell that this guy's uh, hammered back a couple tonight. Yeah, I mean, it, it was a, uh, a steel golem. I mean, and hey, you can uh, have a few drinks and a laugh in the in the company of uh, of you know all of us, and instead of a battle that. Who knows which way it may go? I am just trying to be as nice as possible and letting you know that there is more to him than there may look. There's more to us than there may be a look. Yes, but I want him to be com like out of character. I want him to be completely like just dazzled by us and just not even think of us as any kind of worry or threat, you know? Well. <laughs> 
So, if we do do the said drinking contest, what are we drinking? Ale, ale, wine, whiskey, what you got? The finest wine from a place called Fuldor. No, I'm just ooh, kidding. I, uh, <laughs> if you did say that, I go, ooh, I own that, I own that place. Oh, and my and God. Good wine. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. I'm sorry. That, that would be pretty freaking funny. Well, he, he asked you, you know, he actually turns to you, Vay, and he asks you, why is for the blood stupid? Oh, it's quite stupid. common. It's quite common in this area. If you need actually, blood, all throughout why don't we just barter? What do you have to barter? We're in need of coinage. We have really everything that we need. We're in need of some coinage. Seeing that we are, you know, have been out of work for several months now, and all of you adventurers keep coming in and getting the work, uh, the new, like I said, Trumhall doesn't want anything to do with us, and that, you know, that's basically why we don't trust him. Because there's there's no reason why we shouldn't be getting the work. So he seems pretty adamant about that. And so maybe we. But he does keep bringing up the new band. For you when we do meet him. Ah, so you are here. I thought you were just passing through. We are just passing through. Uh, we are, well, of course, but we will be, I assume, you know, it is courtesy and etiquette to uh, meet the ban of a land that you are passing through, is it not? Or at least attempt an audience? I suppose. And we can mention that uh, in the forest not far away, we bumped into a, uh, a group of very capable gentleman if he's looking for any any more men at arms mm. man that was a mountain hot mountain dew burp well I still don't trust them out of character mm -hmm. I don't have any money then how about a simple test of strength? A simple test of strength? Mm -hmm. Canaries aren't the ones to boast. What do you have to barter? Fuck all. What do you want? <laughs> if you have coins to barter... What did you say? Did you say fuck off? I, I said fuck off. <laughs> like it I means he doesn't have anything. I believe that is canary for nothing, I believe. Yeah. At this point, I'm going to stand up and walk by them and walk off and go take a test by the tree over there. <laughs> oh right, where, right where Elephane is. Good call. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, go ahead and give me a stealth check, Elephane. <clears throat> All right. Oh yeah. Cool. You don't even notice Elephane in that bush because you know when you got back to the camp, Elephane was nowhere, and you just you piss right on Elephane, man. <laughs> I piss on her brand new boots. <laughs> wow. Oh, that was that was pretty ruthless. So Elephant is crying. <laughs> Elephant keeps him composed and we'll repay that in the future. <sighs> oh my gosh. You you still don't you get done Alexander, you don't even notice Elephant's there. Nope. Too good. Nice roll, Elephant. <laughs> what a way to nail it what a time to nail a roll, right? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Does Elephant get a, a dex log. check? Dex acrobatic to try to get out of the way of the street. Uh, that's up to Elephane. Nope, she is not moving no matter what. She has a arrow locked on the leader of the group. I, I'm, I'm going to turn around and kind of stand right here. Just uh, kind of I, need, be quiet. I, need, I need to say something. Sure. Look, we don't have a lot of money on us. We don't travel with money or supplies. We're just passing through. Why don't you go harass someone else? Little lady, we are not harassing you. We have no weapons drawn. No, but when four we're just friendly three. locals looking to do some bartering or well, trying to, to earn some money. Chance with 
just for the fun of it, that's fine. But for money, we don't have any. All right. <laughs> We well, wish you luck. I'm speaking, I'm speaking for myself, of course. I don't have any. Anyone else wants to speak up, that's fine. I, I'm the same boat as a little, elf, as a little human girl. Sometimes both uh, tests of contests of strength are more barbaric than running around a battlefield decapitating people. If one of you guys think that they may have something to offer and you have something to trade, then don't listen to me. But I am I I have nothing. They say watch your back. A low growl escapes from the right. They start to walk off into the forest. And Alexander, it seems like they're walking in the direction of of where you actually had seen them. And they walk off under the brush. They have a camp they have a camp about about thirty about mm, three hundred meters that way and I point off in that direction. You saw the you saw their fire. As you were getting your rabbits. Shall we go pay them a little bloody visit? I don't really like them. No, they left. Okay. They're they're disgruntled locals. They have a right to be disgruntled. Elephant yeah. stays in the tree. I, I just didn't like I didn't like being challenged like that. Actually, hey, let's loose our so arrow into uh, Alexander's toe. <laughs> <laughs> Roll to hit. <laughs> <laughs> you just hear very low fucking canard. Isn't all you hear? Do you guys know where Elephant went? I believe. Uh, okay, first of all, uh, do I need to do a perception thing to make sure that they have like completely left it? The area. No, you could. You don't. You know. You don't have to do a roll. You okay. can see that they've actually, they've gone off into the into the woods. <coughs> I can't. Like us. They're not being quiet me. about it either. Yeah. So. Yeah. I clear my throat and kind of gesture towards the bush that Alexander urinated over. <laughs> and wait for the moment until realization dawns on Alexander's face. Here, here you go. She's in the bush. I got paid. Mm. So, what do you guys know? I'm gonna set up like I, inside the, you know, I'm gonna climb the tree and like. This I'm gonna there. watch them walk off like a hawk. Yeah, we need to take turns watching. God told me to watch my back. I go to sleep. You can wa you can watch your back all you want, but after I cut his hands off, there's not going to be a any complaining. Alexander's been watching your back the entire time. Just saying. All right, guys, lottery time. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Read the instructions. Alexander's been watching your back. Read the instructions, uh -huh. guys. Oh, Read the heard. instructions. Exclamation point! Buy ticket. I... Get you into the lottery. Uh, there isn't a sense Cost five there. tickets. Could I sense if they were just kind of drunk and flippantly just kind of saying "watch your back" or was it actually like a deeper threat behind it? Is there any kind of? Uh, oh, he just chuckled. He chuckled, said "watch your back," and oh. he said, "Let's go, boys." Was he meaning "watch his back"? Like, could I sense if he was meaning "watch his back" from them or from uh, the new barn? Now, what now? Could I? sense if he was telling us to watch our back from him and his party or from uh, the the meeting with the new van uh you couldn't tell that he just said okay. he just said watch your back and uh, he says let's get out of here boys As and then they, they all turned off, around and, and, and they're walked off, like so. out of distance yeah I, I felt turn. that he was getting the last word in yeah okay, he, de I... he definitely got the last word in that's for sure I walk over here and I go. There's more to meet the. Eye. There's Pasta, more you probably don't have more, five points yet. More than meets the eye to them. And I kind I of point go and lay down and go to sleep. Well, I apologize if I may have ruined something for you guys, but I didn't have any money. So. Well, I don't want to do it in the first place. Canaries aren't the ones to boast, or at least I'm not. 
I You'll be able to get in pasta. Just uh. Did not wish to see my bloodshed. I've seen enough bloodshed. In about another 